Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another MAMJ Let's Play of Danganronpa. When we left off, it's been crazy. We've been investigating everywhere and everything, and now... Byaki has told me that I need to go to Hido's room. So, that's what I'm gonna do. I need to... Okay, we need to go to the dormitory. And we'll see what's in his room. What's so interesting about that? It can't be that cut and dry. Okay, uh... Sayaka's room... Byakuya... No, not Byakuya's room, I need Hido's room. Junko... There's so many people that aren't even here anymore. It's so sad when you look at it this way. Hido? I don't think I've ever looked for your room. Here we go. The door is unlocked? I guess I can go inside. But yeah, it did say to look. It might not be a great idea, but I'm gonna take the plunge. Holy crap, you decorated your room, Broseph! This is Hero's room. There's all kinds of weird stuff in here. Where do you even get it all from? Yeah, exactly! More importantly, he still hasn't turned up. Which means he can't really complain if I don't get permission to search his room, right? True? Okay, let's see what all we can find. Maybe I need to be searching these people's rooms to get coins and stuff, too. Maybe? Normal bed, pretty much like the one in my room. Got some boxes. I think there's something in the cardboard box. It's blueprints for something, and... Some things made out of it. Looks like cardboard, plastic, and plaster? Is this Robo Justice? And it's in Hero's room! But wait, these blueprints. Something about them bothers me. Hmm. Oh, Alright. Um, let's see, we got the bathroom, we got. You got some freaking pipes over there, dude? Okay, let's check the TV. Alright, I'm just trying to see if I can get coins for stuff. I soundlessly checked the bathroom. There's nothing in here. It's pretty grungy, though. How does the bathroom even get this dirty? No idea. Is that it? That's all that's here? Sure. <laughs> Makoto, big news! Big news! What's wrong? We found Kyoko! What? I is she okay? Where is she? Wait, I wasn't done. There's more big news. Robo Justice showed up too. Robo Justice? It's Hiro wearing the costume. Anyway, as soon as you can, head to the pool on the second floor. To think Hiro and Kyoko would turn up at the same time. Anyway, I have to head to the pool. I ran out to the second floor as fast as I could. Interesting. I thought I checked the pool, didn't I? Oh, you guys are all over there! Good lord! Kyoko and... Yare yare da be. Phew, man. I have had the worst day. Hero? Uh, Kyoko first. I found Hiro. He was jammed in the pool room locker. It looked like he was fast asleep, so I kicked him and woke him up. I still can't believe you kicked me. You should have been a little more gentle about it, like, I don't know, caress my face or something. That's creepy. Anyway, Kyoko, where have you been all this time? You just disappeared all of a sudden, without a trace. There was something I had to check up on. What do you mean? Never mind. I can't, never mind. Never mind. More importantly, she says that, but does she have any idea? Does she know uh, people think she might be spying for the mastermind? First of all, Hiro, you need to explain to us why you're dressed like that. Uh, um, well, I mean, I have no idea. One second I was asleep, I don't even know how that happened. Then when I woke up, I was here. I don't care. Do something about that costume. It pains me to look at you. Will? Well, um... I don't know what's up with the thing, but I can't actually get it off. A little help? <laughs> Why would you make something that you can't take off by yourself? I didn't make this stupid freaking thing! 
There's a clasp on the back that's keeping you from getting it off. It looks pretty sturdy. I don't think you can get it off on your own. We don't really have a choice. Let's help him. It took everyone's help, but slowly we were able to get Hiro out of the suit. It took a few minutes, but eventually we got all the pieces off. <laughs> <laughs> Free at last! Oh. Isn't it kind of weird how perfectly the suit fits Hiro? More to the point, nobody but Hiro would have been able to wear that costume. Uh. Wait, what? <laughs> Hold on a sec. <laughs> Don't bother trying to act innocent. The blueprints were in your room as well. <laughs> in other words, it is obvious to everyone that you made this costume. <laughs> It's true. I saw the blueprints myself. Yeah, me too. Then, it's obvious. The one who put the costume on and went around attacking everyone. It was Hiro. Shall we tie him up and gag him? Good idea. We wouldn't want him killing anyone else. T tie me up? Hold on, guys. I think that's going a little far. He may be a suspect, but he deserves fair treatment. Huh? Yeah, I mean, uh. attacking blueprints? I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Uh, no. You can't talk your way out of this. It's been decided. You killed them. What? Killed who? I have no idea what you're talking about. There must be a fake hero running around. You're the only one who can wear this costume. So who else could possibly be the costumed attacker? How do you know I'm the only one? Maybe you should try it on yourself before you convict me. Fine. If you're going to be a jerk about it, I will. Without missing a beat, Hina started putting on the Robo Justice costume. Ah! See? Nope, sorry, she's talking about it. だから、俺じゃねえって。しかもこれって星が全く曲がらないよ。明らかな設計ミスじゃん。設計ミスとはひでえぞ。あら。いや、今の勢い余っただけで俺が接近したわけじゃ。どっちにしてもさ、これで分
Just admit you did it, okay? I, I'm telling you, you got it all wrong. Oh, I know! That note! Note? Last night, someone slipped a weird note under my door. And here's what it said. I found the hole maybe we can use to escape. Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the rec room at 1 a.m. The last thing I remember is going to the rec room, then I fell, uh, for some reason, I fell asleep. The real killer probably drugged me or something. Not a chance. No, hold on. He could be onto something. The nurse's office did have chemicals that could do that. What? Really? I told you, someone's trying to set me up. A secret passage, a chance to escape. Someone wrote all that to trick me. Even if that's true, you must be one dumb fish to bite every piece of bait that floats in front of you. Well, after being trapped here for so long, even if you know it's a lie, you still gotta check, right? Yeah! They preyed on my desire to get out of here. They deceived me. I still don't buy it. Well, you should buy it. Okay, then show us that note. With pleasure. I have it right here in my, um, pocket. Looks like I lost it. Yeah, sure. But please, you gotta believe me. I wouldn't hurt a fly. As I said before, if you want us to believe you, you must produce evidence. Can you show us the note? I have no particular issue with what you claim, but if you want us to believe you, give us a reason. Ah! What, what the heck? For serious? <laughs> now then, shall we resume our investigation? There's no time to waste before the class trial begins. Why do we need to keep investigating? We already know who did it. <laughs> Why? Why did you kill them? Tell us, Hiro. Ah! No, it's like I said. Was it really to get money from Monokuma? Uh, the money that Monokuma offered us? Yeah, that must be it. You must be totally broke, and that's why- Wait, that's a false accusation! Someone, help me! Just be thankful we haven't bound and gagged you. <laughs> if you have time to uh, yell and carry on, you have time to search for your evidence, right? Oh, you're, you're right! I need to look for that second suit and that note! Feet don't fail me now! I guess I better get back to guard duty. I was gonna ask Toko or Genocide Jack to switch with me. Mm. But if she and Sakura got into a fight, we'd have a catastrophe on our hands. Well, bye. One by one, everyone peeled away. Nice. Makoto, do you have a second? Huh? I want you to help me with the investigation. It looks like I got a late start on this one, so I need to make up some ground. Sure, I don't mind helping, but can you promise me something? Later, when we have time, will you tell me why you disappeared? No. To reject me so simply. Anyway, I need your help. You don't mind, do you? Uh, okay. Thanks. Now then, shall we? So, Makoto, first, I'd like to examine the corpses. Examine the corpses? I can't believe I'm hearing that from the girl the same age as me. So. Dead bodies don't lie, you know. They tell the truth far more easily than the living. No. Wouldn't you agree? How am I supposed to answer? No. Anyway, we have to hurry before the class trial begins again. Y yeah, you're right. Okay then, show me where the bodies are. They're in the repository. I guess we should head that way for now. Oh, I actually have to do it? Okay, can I teleport there? Because that would be nice. Oh, I can't. Can I at least teleport to this floor? Okay, cool. I can teleport to the, ter the, the, the third floor. Crap, I went to the physics room. Yeah. I did a bad. Okay, repository, repository. Hope you can keep up with me, kitty kitty. Almost there. I swear, if the bodies are gone again, I'm just gonna flip my desk. Seriously, these bodies need to stop moving around. Here you go, Kifumi and Taka. For a moment, Kyoko seemed to go rigid, but only for a moment. Yeah. Well then, 
Let's get started. She crouched down next to Taka and without hesitation began poking and prodding the bodies. Yeah, buddy. The Monokuma file was right. They were killed using similar weapons. Her movements were so smooth. She was so calm. Seeing how comfortable she was actually made me feel a little more comfortable. Did you learn anything? <laughs> Makoto, I found something. You did? Yeah. You remember the wrist the wristwatch Taka always wore on his left hand? He did? <sighs> Are you so oblivious to the people around you? Do you dislike other people that much? N no, that's not it. Anyway, you said he had a watch? Yeah. Take a look. It's broken. You can see the hands aren't moving, right? Most likely broke when he had his encounter with his assailant. And if you notice, the hands are frozen at just past 6 o'clock. So that would mean the watch was broken from sometime just after 6? But last night, Taka's watch definitely wasn't broken. Hey, you! How long are you going to keep us waiting? Taka's irritated voice pierced the air as he stared pointedly at his wristwatch. It's almost 10 o'clock. You know that? Bedtime for all the little boys and girls. So if it worked at 10 last night, it could have been broken at 6 p.m. Meaning something must have happened at 6 this morning. Oh, uh, I don't know. Those watches, they're always, they can always be fabricated is a thing. And that's not all. Look at Taka's left hand. He appears to be gripping something. Holy crap, he does! You're right. There's something white in there. Can you try and pry it out? Me? Rigor mortis is already set in. Boy, is it better suited to this kind of manual labor, right? Uh, okay. As much as I didn't want to, I grasped Taka's cold hand. The ice cold hand was nearly enough to cause my heart to stop beating. After some effort, I was finally able to free the object from his tightly clenched fist. A piece of paper? No. Was that all he had in his hand? Yeah, that's it. Just a little scrap of paper. Doesn't seem like much of a clue, does it? So Koshiro. I wonder about that. Kyoko then turned to Hifumi's body. Yeah. Let's check Hifumi's body now. Perhaps he's left us a few clues of his own. Okay. The biggest problem I have right now is how the killer was able to move Hifumi's massive corpse from the nurse's office to where he was discovered from, uh, to here, the repository, all the way from the first floor to the third, and all without anyone noticing it. I just can't see how that's possible. Further, it seems Hifumi died from a blow to the head. He was most likely killed using Justice Hammer 3, which we found in the nurse's office. But when we found his body in the nurse's office, his <coughs> oh, my voice, his glasses were covered in blood. But now they're spotless. Does that mean someone wiped his glasses clean? But who would do that, and why? Oh, sorry, I'm supposed to talk to Kitty Kitty about this. So, did you find anything? I did, more than I expected, to be honest. Look at this. A wad of paper? He finally had it hidden on him. Hidden? He stuffed it in his pants, so I can only assume he'd hidden it on purpose. You see? And his pants? Wait, so you- Nande. It was just his pants, not like his socks or something. I don't know what that means. No. Anyway, let's take a look at the paper. Go ahead, Makoto. Open it up. When I think of how it was stuffed down his pants, it's like- it better be important, Hifumi, or I'll never forgive you for this. A note? I found a hole maybe we can use to escape. Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the equipment room at 6 a.m. That sounds very familiar. That's it! That's the same thing Hiro said! Then he was telling the truth! Although, it's not exactly the same, is it? Last night, someone slipped me a weird note under my door. And here's what it said. I found a hole maybe we can use to escape. Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the rec room at 1am. The time is different. Hiro told us that the note said to meet him at 1am. But they wrote to Hifumi and asked him to meet at 6am. 
so koshiro. Hold on. Just because Hifumi had the note doesn't mean it was meant for him. Huh? Sareba. Part of it has been torn off, right? I think there's likely some meaning there. There's some meaning to the part of it being ripped? Um, could you explain it a little more? Think carefully. No. Why would he have been clutching that scrap of paper so tightly? I... I have no idea. Yeah. What if it wasn't just a scrap of paper when he was holding it? What if it was something more important? And how would something important like that become a mere scrap of paper? That's what you need to answer. No. And while we're at it, I should tell you one other thing. The two victims this time definitely had their e-handbooks on them. So the handbooks have nothing to do with how the murders were carried out. Not that there's any reason to think they were connected to the killings in the first place. So you're saying I don't have to think about the handbooks this time, right? So Koshiro. If you didn't have to think about them at all, I wouldn't have gone out of my way to mention it. All I said was that they weren't used to help carry out the murders. There may come, there may come a point, however, where a handbook may play a role. A handbook may play a role? I don't think I understand. But if Kyoko thinks it's important, I better keep it in mind. Uh oh, it's time for the class trial. Crap. So excited. Bye, Monokuma. It's unfortunate, but I suppose this is where our investigation comes to an end. You have to figure out the rest for yourself and come to the proper conclusion. Yeah, you're right. Well, we'd better get going. Uh, okay. Oh, here we go. The lovely class trials. Everyone had heard Monokuma's proclamation, and they were gathered by the red door. As soon as we were all there... Monokuma Whoa! He's multiplied? Oh, sorry, I thought he was gonna say something, but he said it, it looks that way because of an illusion. I'm moving so fast it only looks like I've multiplied. <laughs> Can you guys tell which one is the real Monokuma? Can we just get on the elevator already? We're not here to play with you. Aww. Then, if everyone's here and ready to go, please board the pain train! Uh, an elevator. I'll see you guys down there. Okay then, shall we? Hold on, I'm not mentally prepared yet. You'll never be mentally prepared. You can't run away anymore, Hiro. You're gonna pay for your sins. I, I told you already, I didn't do it for serious. That reminds me, did you ever find the other costume? Or the note? Uh, mm, well, no, but... How unfortunate. Then it would seem we have our culprit. No. <laughs> this isn't the place to talk about it. Save your accusations for when we get to the courtroom. So, She's right. Let's get down there first. Then the story can really begin. Yeah. Good idea. That's right. I have to. I have to do it. I can't let whoever killed Hifumi and Taka get away with it. For everyone who's still alive. And for the two that lost their lives. The one who killed Hifumi and Taka. The one who killed two of our friends. The killer is... Someone right here. I took one last deep breath and exhaled slowly. I began to walk toward the elevator. Once everyone was aboard, the doors closed on their own, and the steel box began to move. 
Uh, there's so few people now. The clunking of the elevator kept us company as we fell further and further down. There was no going back. Until we settled all this, we couldn't go anywhere. I'm not sure how long it was before the elevator finally came to a stop. The elevator door slid open, opening up onto a cruel fate. <laughs> when I see all of you gathered together like this, I realize just how few of you are left. Your school life is slowly reaching its climax. Yeah. Only because of you. Why? Why are you making us do such cool things to each other? What? What? Do you really hate me so much? But I'm so cute. Boy. Stop goofing around and begin the trial. Don't rush me. Of course I'm going to start it. I would never be like, stay tuned for the action-packed class trial after this commercial break. I never hold out on you like that. Okay, let's begin. Get to your assigned seats. And so, the curtain opened once again. A deadly judgment. A deadly deception. A deadly betrayal. A deadly riddle. A deadly defense. A deadly faith. A deadly class trial. Yep, let's go ahead and save. Uh, I kind of wish I could end the episode here and we could start the trial like fresh, but it's way too short of an episode to do that. So, let's go ahead and set our skills. Increase time limit for each phrase effective during class trial. Okay. Steadies your aim a little, effective during non-stop debate. Okay, that would be good. Okay, well I can do those. I mean, I've got enough SP to do what I want to do. Focus gauge recovers more quickly, effective during... Okay, so I can't do that if I want to... Okay. Allows you to reload two bullets at once, effective during bullet time battle. Increases damage to the opponent, that's good too. Breathing technique. That's pretty helpful. Steadies your aim. Increases time limit for each phrase. Okay, so... Let's get rid of this and maybe do the breathing technique. I think that's good. That's all but one SP. So that would be pretty good. I don't think we need to really do anything with the handbook per se. I think we're good. Let's go ahead and start. Let's get this ball rolling, shall we? Ugh. My dear. Again? みんなは欺いた黒だけが晴れて卒業となります。さてと、じゃ最初は犯人はもう決まってるよ。おろろろろ。おろろろろ。一連の殺人や死体消失が起きた際のアリバイがなく、何よりあのコスプレ姿で現
All right, let's let's see what everyone has to say. あなたが犯人であるということを。これは知らん。これは罠だ。陰謀だ。科学でなんで殺したの？ちょっと待ってくれって。これヒロ。is that it? Compiling evidence that Hito is the killer. Is that really true? Let's see if this is what I need. No? Crap. Ugh. I'm already doing bad. Well, this sucks. Okay, so the costume... Why would I use the blueprints against the blueprints, though? That doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Maybe the costume against the blueprints? Let me try that. Really? Is that what I just did and I, I messed it up again? God dang it! Okay, I need to I need to be good about this. I'm already doing very very poorly. Wait, that's it? Oh my god. Oh my god. It was Hito's message? I've got like a heart left. This is not gonna be good. あるた英語がなくなった時に科学力にみんなを集めるのに使ったメモだけど明らかに筆跡が違うよねこっちの設計図とさ確かに同一人物の物語は思えないけど筆跡を使い分けただけでしょいや筆跡を使い分けた程度
Alright, so the dolly and the tarp. <laughs> What's wrong with the attitude? He's like upset I got it right. ウツリ準備室から消えた石丸君の死体が美術倉庫で再発見された時彼の死体はビニールシートに組まれていたよねあのビニールシートって物理準備室にあったものと同じものだったんだよ犯人は物理準備室から石丸君の死体を運び出す
犯人の物理準備室から死体を運び出す際に誤って台車のタイヤに血をつけてしまってそれをそのまま美術倉庫まで移動させちゃったんだよこれが根拠だよ石丸君の死体運搬に台車が使われたことのねチチチーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、チーズ、例の不審者が事件の犯人ではないという根拠をなそれは石丸の死体運搬の流れを振り返ってみればすぐに見えてくるはずだ If you look at how the body was moved it'll be clear why the person in the suit couldn't have done it What does it mean by that? Woo! Alright, can't fail now The costume, the dolly, and the blueprints. Okay, costume, dolly, blueprints. Blueprints. Three jumbies. They shimmered or crossed. So no style of hakon done. Style of vinyl sheet to the tsunde. So they all die shall not hakon done the show. Yes. I know that I saw a top ten and a cup of hazard. Then what did I not cut up there? Should I go for it? I'm just gonna go for it. Ooh, I broke it apart. Thank you. Oh, thank the Lord. I have such little health. Tashka, ni, Koshi o Kagame de Seo Hikukus Reba. Totten on I dash at him, Setakam Shinai. I saw Kitamo de Sono Taisen in Naritan. No, you mean? Oh, come on, Hina. Moy dust me too. I know you saw me not a Kakuni Statu. I'm as blind as a bat in here. I can't see my feet at all. I'm surprised you got anywhere in this thing. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. And not to mention, you totally can't bend at the waist. It seems like a pretty obvious oversight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just kicking it down the hallway. Exactly. Exactly. There's absolutely no chance the costume was taken off to move the body because you can't take it off by yourself. I don't know what's up with this thing, but I can't actually get it off. A little help? Why would you make something you can't take off by yourself? I didn't make the stupid freaking thing. There's a clasp on the back that's keeping you from getting it off. It looks pretty sturdy. I don't think you can get it off on your own. We really don't have a choice. Let's help him. So, that guy was not able to do it with the power of the power. Did you really do it with the power of the power? Is it not a joke? It's not a joke! If you do it with the power of the power, you won't be able to do it with the power of the power. Exactly. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. そう、どうだべ。じゃあ本当なの？ジャスティスロボが台車を動かせなかったのって。つまり、台車で死体を運んだ犯人はジャスティスロボを着ていた花子ではないのだな。いえ、ちょっと待ってください。お忘れですか？
Robe of Justice. Or that's what I decided to call him just now. Just now? ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、